All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm back in some more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 DLC pack number or extra pack number one content here on the channel. Very excited for another video showcasing everything here. So this is going to be just a quick and basic, simple tutorial for any newcomers or beginners to this game. Now, if you clicked on this video, most likely you don't know how to get all the skills uh, and you know all the additional costumes that come with DLC pack nine. Now, I want to make this perfectly clear with y'all. These are not free. These do not come with the free update. You have to purchase DLC Pack 9 in order to get all the parallel quests. And you're going to take on those parallel quests and be able to unlock them at the very end, uh, depending on your ranking. And, you know, it is still all RNG based at the very end of everything. So, uh, what we have here are five different parallel quests that you can actually take on. So, number 133, the drops on these will be Kakunza's wig and mask, Kakunza's tail, Kakunza's clothes. We have the Pretty Cannon and Formation. So, Pretty Cannon and Formation come from Ribrion. You can actually equip those, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, moving on to 134, you can actually get Ultimate Charge from Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and Burst Charge from Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Moving on to 135, you can actually get Rosie's Hood and Goggles, Rosie's Clothes, and you can also get the lovely Cyclone from Ribrion. 136, you can get the Burst Stinger, and Raid Blast and Blazing Attack, all from Super Saiyan God Vegeta. And then for the final one on 137, you can get the two ultimate skills. The other ones were only super skills. So the two ultimate skills that come with this DLC pack are Ribrion's Eternal Love and Prominence Flash from Super Saiyan God Vegeta. So basically what you have to do is just take these quests on. Most likely uh, the best option, it's in your best interest to go online with friends or other people who have really powerful cacs and you'll be able to most likely be able to get a z rank or you know you know z rank is usually the best so you just want to finish with an ultimate finish uh basically just try to get your health completely full before you go into it and uh at the very end you want to heal yourself up as well that's what i found works out the best for me and again like i said it's all rng so if it doesn't drop i mean you're just gonna have to do it again i'm sorry to say it but that's just the honest truth from my experience from doing these that's just how you have to do it so again uh you can just take on all these uh, they come with DLC Pack 9 or at Ultra Pack 1. Make sure you purchase that first before you try to attempt and look for this because I already know people in the comp section will be like, well, I thought it was free. It's not free. No, it was never free. You know, you have to buy the DLC because you have to access the parallel quest in order to get an opportunity of these actually dropping. So I'm actually going to show you guys um, all the skills that I currently got from it. So um, I'm on the PC version. You can see that everything's kind of maxed out. Just for the sake of this video, it's all uh, in terms of me just trying Trying to showcase this so you know don't worry about it it's not a big deal i'm not playing this online at all so um as you can see i do have these skills here we have the pretty cannon uh blazing attack burst stinger uh moving on to the strike skills we have the raid blast and lovely cyclone and then for uh everything else i think is the ultimate charge and burst charge uh, I think we also have the uh, Ribrion skill right here, which is formation, so we can equip that as well. And I'm going to do a little showcase, mini showcase of every single move on my CAC, uh, probably with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution because it looks cool. Then we have Ribrion's Eternal Love and Prominence Flash. So let's go ahead and showcase, uh, I guess, as many of these as I can. Obviously, I can't showcase them all in one uh, skill set because there are more than that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into the uh, training mode or whatever, and we'll see the skills on the CAC. So I'll see you guys back over there. All right, my friends. So I got my training dummy here. You already know it. Let's go ahead and evolve into Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Looking beautiful and fantastic. So let's go ahead and try out the Burst Stinger on my CAC here. Look at this. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That is so sick. All right, Blazing Attack. Uh, people told me to do this in air, so thank you guys so much for uh, giving me the feedback on that and let me know uh, why the camera was all screwed up last time I was covering. But as you can see, it starts off as a melee base and then kind of goes into a uh, more of a key base, which is awesome. I love this move so much, dude. Burst thing, Super Saiyan God Vegeta's uh, just like overall moveset is fantastic. Then we also got the Raid Blast here. Let me see this. Oh, dude. Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. I love this bro shout outs to uh that, that that goku black sort of showcase there so um we also got the ultimate charge again uh let me actually turn off my key here here we'll go ahead and show that last because i want to drain this out here so we're gonna go ahead and fight uh with ribrion's eternal love oh yes i am pretty beautiful 
<laughs> this looks so dumb, dude. Oh, I like that little stance at the end. That's pretty nice. So, ultimate charge here. As you can see, it goes really slow at the beginning, and then it just increases super fast. And it, it just keeps on increasing speed whenever it actually does increase, which is beautiful. So, let's go and use this prominence flash here. Oh, yes, dude. So, yeah, I mean, you guys have seen the skills before if you have the DLC, but it's just really cool to see... Um, like the skills on your CAC. I think that's just awesome. Ultimate charge, definitely uh, probably one of the best charge it moves, bro. I think I like it a lot more than burst charge. Burst charge is like if you need just something real quick, like you just need quick two key bars just for something like insanely fast or whatever. But then, uh, you know, this one is like, okay, you got a little bit of time, you know, you can just charge it up and then get everything up. So that's mainly if you want to get your, you know, I guess Super Saiyan Blue Evolution all the way back up because that helps out so much, bro, especially whenever it's being wasted by this key like a ton. And I know you can put on like Super Souls and other things to, you know, help that. So there you have it. There's Raid Blast again, uh, just one more time. The Blazing Attack. Um, here, I'll showcase that one more time as well. Boom, and then we'll go into the second pair of skills that um, I wasn't able to showcase because I ran out of, you know, space. <laughs> Didn't have enough space. So that would be, I think, the uh, Burst Charge and uh, a couple of other... I think, uh, moves from Ribrion and stuff. So I'll see you guys back over there. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and try out the second pair. We'll have to do a third little showcase just to showcase the last charge-up move, which is the one from Ribrion. But we have the pretty cannon. Yes, it's the giant heart or whatever. Um, decent range on this move. Uh, if I didn't already, you know, make note of that in my other showcases before. But uh, we also have, like I said, still the blazing attack. Um, that one I just showcased because, you know, I already had it. So, uh, lovely Cyclone here. Uh, this one is hilarious. We turn into a freaking, like, little Beyblade. <laughs> Let's go, Beyblade style. Uh, then we have the Burst Charge, which I showed uh, previously with God Vegeta, how it gives you uh, immediately two key bars extremely fast, and then it, you know, decreases in speed with the charge up. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Again, like I said, just pretty cannon and lovely Cyclone and the Burst Charge. Uh, I added on there. Now let's go ahead and showcase the last one, which is a charge-up move uh, by, I guess, Ribrion as well. So I'll see you guys back over there. All right, so let's go ahead and try out the formation, just a backflip, and then that weird pose uh, that, you know, you pretty much do, and you get that increase in, like, power and everything. Look at that, bro. Look at that. I'm a happy boy, slow looking like a happy boy right now. You see this, dude? Look at that. <laughs> I've never seen this man so happy in his eye, bro. Look at that. You see that? That's some DLC quality right there. So there you have it. Um, that is pretty much all the skills. All right, my friends, so now we're going to walk through all the new costumes, and yes, the men, the males, can wear Kakunza and Rosie's clothes. Oh my god. So basically, this increases your health and basic attack while decreasing key and strike supers. So the costume worn by Sanka Ku, a beast warrior from Universe 2, when she transforms into magical girl Kakunza. So I think that was the one that was like a cat wolf-like character or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's mm, that's that's quite the that's quite the costume. I, I'm a I'm a big fan, man. Looks looks fantastic. Like honestly, so I don't know about that, bro. That's that's just a little bit weird. Um, we also have I think like Rosie's costume or whatever as well too. So let's go ahead and equip that one. Oh my god, dude, what the fuck, dude? The Rosie's shirt, bro. Oh. My my goodness um what does this actually give us uh rosie's decreases key and stamina which is pretty bad in my opinion uh but we do get key blast supers and strike supers increase so costume warrant by uh suze rose roaz whatever her name is yeah uh a yachina fist wielder from universe 2 when she transforms into magical girl rosie mm, beautiful so there you have it those are the ones that you can actually wear for the male or whatever uh, i'm gonna see uh what they look like on females as well just just you know because i want to okay so i'll see you guys back over there all right, so before we get into uh, Rosie and Kakunza's clothing, I want to show off the sumo wrestler sort of build. Very cool stuff. This is on my female cat. Just threw it on there. And uh, she's looking she looking kind of weird, not going to lie, with that hairstyle. I don't know what's going down. So uh, we also have the boxer costume, which just consists of pants, shoes, and gloves, which I actually really like. You could actually make, like, Little Mac in this game. I might actually make a Little Mac cat. Yo, Little Mac cat. Let's go, dude. So um, I love, uh, you know, just little integrations of stuff like this. Just a boxing uniform is kind of random. You know what I mean? But uh, very cool look to it. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to Rosie and Kakunza. And, yes, you can alter the colors as well. So let's go ahead and move back over there. 
All right, y'all. So I'm not gonna lie, my Saiyan female cat looked fire, bro. She, <laughs> she looked fire with Cocoon's clothes. Look at that. She got the hair. She got the tail, bro. Let's go. This looks sick. Got the mask, looking like freaking superhero, dude. So uh, what you can also do is you can just have uh, the wig and the mask if you don't want the tail, and you can just have the tail, of course. It's not a moving tail, so anybody that uh, is still expecting that, rip y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That ain't the case. So, uh, moving on here, we're going to go ahead and equip all of Rosie's clothes just to show you guys this as well. And she has her own uh, little set as well with Rosie's hood and goggles, so you can straight up look like Rosie. Let's freaking go. Look pretty dang good. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. So, now let's go ahead and check out Ribrian's clothing. Alright, so yeah, I know that this is old, but, you know, since we already did Rosie and Cocoon's, I might as well show off Ribrion too, so, yeah, um, I know this is from a different, you know, pack and everything, these are older, uh, clothes, these were obtainable in previous DLC packs and all that stuff, but there you have it, those are all the clothes and everything, uh, for the Super Souls, I guess I can show those off as well, I don't exactly know which ones, uh, were new, I'm thinking it's probably Justice is nothing to me now, maybe. That won't work on me. This is everything I got. Pathetic, you know. This one right here. Super Saiyan God, Vegeta, Super Soul, uh, Evolved, and then Ribrion. So, it was actually, I think it was just these three. So, that won't work on me. As you can see, um, that's exactly what it gives you. Again, I never really look into Super Souls or even care what they do. But, you know, I'm just showing them off for the sake of showing off all the Super Souls and everything. So, we have the uh, Evolved Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta one. And then uh, God Vegeta with, um, you know, the best name ever. Pathetic, you know, because that's how he says it. Pathetic. Yes, beautiful. So, we are looking like of the freaking Ribrion. Let's go, dude. Ribrion looking slim. She, 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 on that, she on that Jenny Craig, all right? So, uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Um, hopefully, I showed Cased every single uh, skill, costume, and super soul that is obtainable. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So, peace out, take care. Love y'all. Be sure to subscribe for more content coming soon and ring that notification bell. I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys. Peace.